Want to know how to create your own game, but you don't know how to start? Then this video is just for you. I've been making games for almost 3 years now and I've created many small projects and even released 2 games on Steam and you can play them on Steam if you want. In this video I will tell you my tips and advice about game development and what you need to create your own game. Let's get started! So you are a complete beginner and you never worked on making games. You enjoy playing games and would like to create your own game. Now I will tell you what you need and how to get started with game development. First you need computer. I recommend at least some middle class as developing games on a weak computer is pain. But of course smaller projects can be created on weaker PCs, but it's not so handy especially when rendering some big scenes. Then you need the software, in which you will create games. There is a lot of software and game editors to choose from nowadays, so it's not a problem to choose what suits you best. Which editor you choose depends only on your preferences, in each editor the work is little different, different programming language is used and even some such as Unreal Engine you can program using blueprints, which are just small blocks with a logic that you connect together. If you have just answered whether you will choose path of programming via programming language or via blueprints, congratulations. But before I say that out of using blueprints may seem easier than writing code, blueprints have their own limitations, especially for larger projects, while writing code has almost none. My recommendation is not to be scared away from writing code, because once you learn it, your progress in game development will be very fast, and it's also a useful skill for future job. And my personal recommendation is to start with either Unity or Unreal Engine. Yes, I know some people might disagree with me because these two programs are very complex, but I personally started with Unity and back then I didn't know how to program even one line of code. But if you do it every day, you will learn it and you will be proud of yourself that you learn something new. Once you have chosen which editor you will be making games in, I certainly don't recommend you to work in it on your own immediately. Editor itself may seem complicated, so I recommend you to watch some simple tutorials for beginners. Advantage of Unity and Unreal Engine is that you can find a lot of free tutorials on internet, so learning how to work with editor won't be that hard for you. But be careful not to make the same mistake as me and as many other people that you will just write off every line of code from the tutorial without thinking about its logic, because you won't learn much that way. We call it tutorial hell, because while we watch tutorials and do the same thing that they do in the video, we think we are starting to understand it, but when we start a new project without a tutorial, we suddenly find out that we don't know anything at all. I recommend to learn how to work with editor and how to program, so that after watching tutorial, you try to create something similar yourself. And only when you don't know something, then you can see how the person in the tutorial did it. And this way you learn how to work with basic components of the editor in small steps, it's simple as that. It is important to watch the tutorial to the end for the best effect. If you have money to spare, you can also buy tutorial on Udemy, but I don't recommend this as many of these tutorials are outdated and you can often find better free tutorials on YouTube. Suppose you are at the point where you have watched a few tutorials, know how to work with editor and also write simple script. You are excited and now you want to create your dream open world RPG game with bunch of mechanics and NPC characters and I don't know what else. Please don't do that. Make simple game with no special features to start with, even though you might not enjoy it as much at first, but it's certainly better than struggling with something you don't have skill for. I recommend making a game like a 3D Super Mario from simple 3D models to start with. For nicer visuals you can use models from asset stores such as Unity Asset Store. You will definitely get stuck and not know how to continue and you will want to give up. 
below me. I also get stuck almost every day on a bug and I've been working with games for almost 3 years and it won't be any different even if I make them for 10 years. It's perfectly fine to run into a bug you don't know how to deal with because that's how you learn important thing and that's problem solving. In such cases, when for example you have error in a code and you don't know what to do next, I recommend using our favorite AI ChatGPT or similar AI. GPT will always explain why the error occurred and you will understand faster why your process did not work. You can also try googling the answer and searching for it on pages like Stack Overflow, but that is a very slow solution nowadays when AI can answer us in a few seconds. And don't forget to read the documentation when troubleshooting. Some plugins that are internal to the software have their own documentation and ChatGPT can handle them very well. Great! If you made it this far with your game development journey, you can take it one step further. You can create a bigger game, more fun game, maybe better optimized game. There is no limitation to imagination in game development. In beginning, it doesn't matter what kind of games you create, because you are learning. But what I highly recommend is to try create a game from beginning to the end after, for example, months of learning on small projects. And definitely try to make a very small game. This way you will find out how much skill you have and how long it takes you to make small game before you start on bigger project. One of the mistakes the developer make, and I'm not exception, is that we want to make a big game and we think that we can make it in a month and we end up working on it for one year and it's not still finished. So I recommend you make a very small game with one mechanic to start with. As with everything, hardest part is getting started. But if you really want to create your own game, there is no better time than now. There are many great free programs available that are easy to use and all you need to do is devote some time to it, but you will never forget that skill. Keep in mind, however, the game development is marathon, not a sprint. You won't learn how to make games in a month or even six months. The whole process takes time, but if you devote at least a little time to it every day, after a while you will be able to create your own game that you can be proud of. And one very important thing. Never compare yourself to developer who has been doing this for several years. One of the worst things that can ruin your motivation is comparing yourself to someone who has made a very successful game and we would also like to make such a game, but you don't know how to do it yet. Remember that even that developer who made the successful game learned everything from scratch just like you. And first, he made tens unsuccessful games and hundreds of small projects. So it's completely okay to make just small projects and focus on them and then start doing something bigger. Let's summarize everything you need to create your own first game. First, you need a reasonably powerful computer that can handle today's editors such as Unity or Unreal Engine. Second, choose which editor you want to work in and whether you prefer to write a code or use blueprints. Third, use the free tutorials available on internet or AI or documentation. And last but not at least, you will need a lot of time and patience because you can't do it without them. And let's not forget, I recommend making your first game very small, not RPG. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I tried to create my own open world RPG game after 2 years of experience, and I still don't have the skills and resources to do so, so I quit that project and you can watch my last video where I was talking about that. So everything just takes time and don't hurry anything, you have all time of the world. That's all for this video. I hope this video will help you if you want to try creating your first game or at least motivate you a little. I would be very happy if you left your opinion in the comments or checked out my other videos. Also don't forget to check out my games on Steam and leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for your support and see you next time.